the, the same feeling. I don't even know where to go after that game because it's great that you have a win, but it's, it's not very often that you're not happy after a win because we didn't win the right way. We didn't play a full 60 minutes, and that's been the knock on us all, all year is that we, we fail uh, to have that killer instinct. We go up after a great first period, 2 nothing, and we take our foot off the gas. And we did not generate one five-on-five five shot in the second period. So the lack of the killer instinct and some of the negativity that set in on the bench is a real big concern. Um, but, uh, like, again, I think Jenks and Sidlowski, those guys stepped up between the second and third and said the right things to refocus our group, and we came out and had a great third period. So um, if it wasn't for those two guys and the experience they had in the dressing room, this game could have gone south pretty quick. Um, Brady has looked like his usual self since he came back. Is that what you're seeing? Yeah, you know, uh, an amazing stat was that we were 1-11 without him on home ice. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the second he comes back, he, he helps us win every single game. He's, he's always on the score sheet, always finds a way to make an impact play. And your top player's got to be your top guys. And that's the way it's been for the majority of the teams a lot. And when you're missing your top guys, it's tough to replace those guys. So Brady Shaw is unique. St. Amant is, is unique. You know, Sidlowski is unique. And that's why they, they're, they're your top guys. So we, we welcome a, a healthy lineup because we seem to generate a ton of offense here, 10 goals in the last two games. And that's a good sign for us going forward here as we're getting healthy. Our, our biggest focus is finding a way to get a good defensive game for 60 minutes because scoring goals has never been a problem, especially with guys in the lineup but we're back to that first quarter of the season where we got to score five to win and that's not a recipe for long-term success overall i know you didn't like the second period tonight but you guys won i think four out of your last five just uh you know through the stretch of games what do you feel like maybe you guys have done better than maybe you had done in the previous stretch of five or six well we we've had energy because we've been able to dress a full lineup i mean i don't, I don't know how many games during that suspension with haas and um, Stewart that we weren't were only able to dress 5D or 9 forwards. I mean, what, the last time we played Kalamazoo in their barn, we had 8 forwards and 7 defense. Uh, we had to dress an entire team and still set one short. So having a full lineup allows us to be aggressive. It allows us to be on the forecheck and allows us uh, to hem these guys in. I thought we were really good. Ferguson made a lot of real good saves. The ones he couldn't uh, handle were on the back door. So, you know, we've got to look at helping them out. And we told uh, told our team, let them make the first save and make sure we're picking up the second one. So even that tying goal or that second goal against, he, he can't do anything about it. That fourth goal against, he can't do anything about it. So collectively as a team, we know we can score. We know what our strengths are. The biggest focus uh, going into to the last 19, 18 games of the season here is how we defend, how we keep pucks out of the net, because we all know that uh, defense win championships and offense will only win games. So our, our focus is getting in the playoffs, but playing the right way going into the playoffs. Yeah, as you mentioned, you know, it's a win, but not exactly the way you guys would have wanted to win. With that said, I guess kind of what's, what's your message to the guys after a game like tonight? Well, just just coming together as a, as a group, you know, I think we've had all these these moments throughout the season that have brought us tight together, and and I've heard nothing but great things about the camaraderie in that dressing room. But the mental focus and the killer instinct that has to be something we've got to be aware. We've got a visiting team down two nothing on a Wednesday night. Let's go out and get that third one and make them quit and get the fourth one. Um, instead, you know, we're in it until the last second of the game because we took our foot off the gas. So having a killer instinct and bearing down on when we have opportunities to score, that's that's going to. Be huge, and you know we, we continue to look at our defense and continue to look at to find ways to try to uh, uh, keep it out of our net, and that's going to be a focus for us. We can score, but are we able to defend? That's going to be the question here in the last 20 games of the season.